Hi and welcome to this video about the WSM Panel version 2 for Photoshop. What is that all about? Well, sharpening, but before showing you the actual thing, which is so cool, let me talk about the reason why you may want to use it. Newborn digital images out of the camera or the raw processor are a little bit soft, for a number of reasons. In our work as retouchers, we are used to doing some magic to increase the detail, and we do so with the help of some kind of sharpening tool, the great-grandfather of which is the good old Unsharp Mask Filter found in Photoshop here. Let me open it and pick this image and let me recap what this whole sharpening thing actually is. First, in the dialog, we have the amount, which is the intensity of the effect. And second, the radius. But the radius of what? Well, halos, because the increased detail that we see in images we have applied the sharpening filter to is actually made creating halos around the edges of what your image depicts, a lady, a cat, a landscape, whatever. So if the amount controls the intensity of these halos, the radius controls whether they are going to be thin or thick. And third, we have the threshold, which discriminates what is an edge to apply halos to and what's not to be left alone. So to speak, threshold is a way to exclude sharpening from noisy areas. And that's it. As you see, the Unsharp Mask filter creates dark halos on the darker side of an edge and light halos on the lighter side. And halos are born equal. I mean, light and dark halos share the same amount, the same radius, and the same threshold. It cannot be otherwise. Is that okay? Hmm, sort of. Well, if you have no other options, you can live with it, but there are at least a couple of problems. First, if there's something bad you can do with sharpening, that's overdoing it. You apply too much sharpening, the picture is ruined, the client is unhappy, and you will die of starvation. Well, it is true that especially for those of us in the pre-press business, one must evaluate the final result on the final media. If you are sharpening for the press or the inkjet printer, the sharpening must be checked at the end of the process, on paper. And the amount of sharpening that an image to be printed can stand is much more than what we would find appropriate looking at it on our fine monitor. Nonetheless, we all know that there is a point when you know you have reached the maximum level of sharpening allowed by that very image. You push the slider a little bit more and it will be too much. But here's the deal. Are light and dark halos offending the same? Experiments have been run on a large number of professionals over the years by color correction super expert Dan Margulis, showing that, believe it or not, light halos are much more likely to be the offending ones. Same radius, same amount, the over-sharpening feeling comes more likely from the light halos. If you could tone them down, perhaps change just their radius, leaving alone the dark ones, you'll get better, sharper images. Second problem, if you don't use sharpening in a traditional way to sharpen a picture, but for so-called creative purposes, that is to say with exceptionally large radii and low amounts to play with the local contrast of an image, well, at this point it is crucial to be able to control dark and light halos separately, their amount, radius, and threshold. And here finally comes WSM. Find it in the Windows Extensions menu. You have double controls on basically everything. Dark halos are controlled here on top, light halos below, you adjust them and click run and they're applied. You have just a couple of presets to begin with, first one for so-called traditional sharpening, and you see you are allowed to evaluate the impact of light halos alone, dark halos alone, and both combined, so you can target them precisely. Second preset is for high ray low um. What's that? High radius and low amount sharpening. The more creative one. And again, you load the values, tweak them and click run. And again and again until you're happy. Switch on and off the preview to see the before and after of halos, no matter whether dark or light alone and the combined effect. And of course, you can add your own preset give it a name and it will be available in the future as well. WSM works internally with a C++ plugin which computes the image data with 32 bits precision and it also works with 8, 16 and 32 bits HDR images on Photoshop from version CC onwards, both Mac and PC. 
but there's more. If you drag the bottom handle, a new set of sliders appears, and that's for tone protection. Say that you have found a nice sharpening values for your picture, but there's some unwanted effect in the highlights. The threshold is going to be of no use here because it works discriminating what's an edge and what's noise. Here I just want to get rid of the effect on the more bright areas of the picture. Very much like a luminosity mask, the protection sliders exclude sharpening in the highlights and or in midtones and or in shadows, so you can play with these extra sliders to find out the values that make the sharpening more palatable. If you're stuck, here is the manual, it opens a PDF that contains basically what I've told you here, plus it has some real world examples too. If you need support or just want to say hello, here you can find me. I hope you will enjoy WSM2, I've worked on a lot more Photoshop extensions that you can find here on my website. Thank you for watching, bye bye.